Hi guys, um, as you've seen of the title of the video, I'm going to be bleaching my hair today. First of all, this is what my hair looks like at the moment. And then this is what the back looks like. It's like starting to get quite brown at the bottom. My hair journey, I'm going to start the video off with. So I first dyed my hair in yeah, eight, summer. I dyed, I dip dyed it pink. And then I went in year nine, I went dark brown, um, basically black. And then in the summer, I went, um, in that summer, 2018 summer, I went blue on the roots and then pink out. And then when that faded in the same summer, I went over the whole thing with pink. Then I cut my hair really short because it was like really dead um, and dyed the whole of it dark red, which, you know, was fine. Then in Christmas, I did colour remover and red is like the hardest colour to remove from your hair. Um, and it went dark ginger. Then my mum put these highlights in. I also went blue in the middle of that somewhere. Pink in the February half term and pink on the last day of school. And then I went pink again after the last day of school. But it was like really not permanent dye and it only lasted like a couple of days. So my hair wasn't damaged. My hair's actually quite healthy. Let's get into the video. So today I'm gonna be using box dye. I'm gonna be using this. I literally like, okay, let's talk about Brad Mondo. He's an absolute freaking legend. Um, absolutely love him. And he's very against box dyes. But I have watched all of his videos at least three times. So I think I have a good idea on how to do it correctly. Could be wrong. This is really scary. Um, I have wanted to properly bleach my hair for around two, uh, two years now. So I, I just used this and it was like really highly rated. They, these were like six pounds each. I have this toner, which I've had for like a year now. Um, it's just like the Provoke one. I don't know, it's all right. It, it's not the best, but you know, what can we do? Also, I'd like to say if anyone's dying their hair, not this isn't like a tutorial, but if anyone's dying their hair, definitely get two boxes if your hair's longer than shoulder length because you don't want to run out and it like, you have to, soak your hair in bleach especially if you're dealing with bleach um so it comes with gloves first off and then i have this which is the cream developer then we've got the lightning cream i'm not sure what number developer is this is i think it would be around a 30 which i know is quite high uh this is the bleach powder and here's the little like silver shampoo that they give this is really scary, I'm kind of scared. I practice, because I'm, I do really want to get it right. I practice sectioning for about an hour this morning. Um, also, I um, wash my hair. This is the third day of it being washed, because if you, oh, is that a bird? If you wash your hair, um, just before it's really bad. Oh, God sake. I knew that was gonna happen. How many times have I dyed my hair? Should we just go for it? I'm so scared about this. Okay. So this is gonna be such a boring video. I can't believe I'm doing this. This is really freaking scary. If this does go horribly wrong, I'm fully aware that I could just order some color, which I'm gonna do in the end anyway and just put a load of colour on it. Also, you know like, backseat drivers? That's what my mum is to my hair. So I said I'd do this in a mirror and I'm using my phone. I know this is really not great technique right now, but this is just right. This is just to make sure like that's nice and saturated. Also, before we're doing this, be really careful. Um, and just double check it's not on your um, like skin or anything because I definitely splat some on my legs. Ah, this has changed because they were always like, oh, make sure you go on your roots, like roots first. But this said, um, beginning at the nape of the neck, uh, which is good because it's like layering on top and avoiding the first three centimeters of your roots. Leave, um, 
to develop for 15 20 minutes apply the rest of the mixture to the first three centimeters of the roots then massage do i swear to god don't massage us they were there they were nearly there and then let it develop for a further 20 minutes um Okay, well that's now bleach on my hand. Look how satisfying this is. <laughs> so I've just done, coated the whole layers and this is what it looks like. I've got, I think I've got most of it. I'm pretty convinced I have all of it covered. Clean film. So this is what it looks like. It's half four. This is taking a lot quicker than I thought it would be. So it's been 15 minutes, I think I put on the timer and we're just gonna see. Yeah, I can see in the back, you can't really see it, but I just looked a bit and it is turning. There are like stripes in my hair that's pink, um, which I don't really care about if I'm gonna be honest. It looks pretty good, I'm gonna be honest. I'm quite happy with it. So you can see the pink. And like, it's not like my hair's breaking off. That's not bendy. That's a nice color, I like that color. So it's been another 10 minutes and I'm gonna wash it out now. So this is the finished look. I have, um, done makeup as you can see um what i did end up doing was um so i toned it first with the conditioner it gave me but it didn't really do anything i always got really scared because it was so dark that i didn't want to stain my hair um so i ended up not actually leaving it in long enough um so it still came out quite orange and then i ended up using my ta uh, toner i already had um, and left that in and I've just dried it. There are some spots as you can see. Like it's not perfect or anything, definitely not. But I do really like the colour. I also just did wanted to do a little quick update in the natural light. This is what it looks like. Um, I put it in plaits. Um, it's just the day after. And yeah, so thank you for watching uh, my video. Remember to like and subscribe. I don't know if I explained, but I the whole point of my bleaching was actually to colour it. Um, but I just can't afford the colour at the moment. So um, there will be another colouring video in the future. Um, so you should subscribe for that reason to watch that. Um, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you have a good day um, and bye.